In this video, I want to answer the question that I received yesterday from a client that said, uh, how do I know which contract I should be trading, which contract month? Uh, we're here in soybeans, and we're getting ready to roll over. So as you can see, the market's uh, coming to an end here. This is our first notice day. And of course, we all want to be out of the market before first notice day. We don't want to wait till expiration day. We want to be out of the market by first notice day. Now, in many contracts, first notice day and expiration day are the same dates, but in this case, they are not. So again, first notice day, be out and rolled over into the next contract if that's what you want to do or just start analyzing and looking for opportunities in the next contract month. So let's come over and look and decide which one to go into. We have July, August, September, and November in the beans. Which one should we go to? Well, the easiest one to decide which one to go to is by looking at the volume. So if we come down here and we turn on volume, we can see that in the next contract month out, that's August, that's 58,000. If we come down here to September, that one's 30,000. And if we come out here to November, oh my goodness, look, 195,000. So why is the November beans more popular than the closer in ones, the September and August? Well, November beans is a very popular contract month. Oftentimes, uh, traders will jump out to the November beans because this is when the delivery time is taking place. It also gives you more time for your options. It gives you more time to be in the market. And the November beans is a really popular contract month. So we can skip all the way from July beans all the way past August and September out to the November beans. So the way we decide that and we, we can determine that is just by looking at volume. Volume is going to kind of help you know which is the contract month you want to be trading. The one with the highest volume, that's the one. Or the closest to expiration. So highest volume, closest to expiration, that's the one you want to be trading. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade. And it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, and forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then of course we have News Miner. News Miner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. So again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, and I'm the founder of Trade Mentors. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about how you too can participate in these fascinating markets, then click the big blue logo to subscribe to our YouTube channel.